Reef Stick. Thank you for becoming a patron. You are what keeps the dream alive. All right, let's get into it. What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video on Insurgency Sandstorm. Today, we are going to be talking about whether or not the console version of Insurgency Sandstorm is going to fail or succeed. The reason I decided to do that is because uh, I saw a couple of videos from Mr. Abel Green and KSN, two very good YouTubers that you should probably go check out. And uh, if you're new here, you know, like the video, comment, share, subscribe, and ding the bell. Yeah, they basically talked about how they think that Sandstorm is going to do on the console. And I sort of agree with them, but then I don't. And I have a couple of reasons why. But before we get into them, let me tell you why. I think Sandstorm is going to do well. So the thing about the consoles is that they don't have that many tactical shooters. Like the PlayStation is usually for like story driven single player games and the Xbox is usually for like arcade games like Halo, Gears, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, it's been a while since I played any console game. So if I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah, the point that I'm trying to say is that I hardly ever see any of the tactical games that I play ever go onto a platform like, you know, the consoles. So this would actually be a great thing for Insurgency Sandstorm because they can claim that they are the first tactical game to ever reach console and they have a relatively good marketing team i mean like if you look at the recent console release video it has like almost over a million views i think it is yeah a million views so yeah i definitely think it's going to do well and i think a lot of people are going to like it because it's certainly not a bad game but i worry about two things one the fact that the game has strayed away from what made it unique like i think back to that petition when the community was saying that they wouldn't buy the game unless they included certain game modes like ambush and others from the previous game which to this day is still not in the game yeah from what i understand nwi only wanted to get the most popular ones so out of the 11 game modes that were in insurgency they only took three push firefight and checkpoint i was told by some of the community members that skirmish was also in the game at one point but then they took it out i'm not sure if they actually gave a reason for that but i'm assuming it just wasn't working out or i don't know but back to my point i always thought of insurgency as walking a fine line between tactical and arcadey but with the additions of game modes like TDM, Domination, and Frenzy, they took a big step into that arcadey zone, which I honestly don't think that that was the right move, because game modes like TDM and Domination on a console are really prevalent in games like Call of Duty, so they would effectively be competing with Call of Duty. Man, I could just imagine it now, somebody deciding between Modern Warfare and Insurgency Sandstorm. Like, hmm, they both got TDM. I mean, I guess the biggest difference that you could say for both of them is um, that Insurgency Sandstorm, you can actually unlock lock all your custom stuff whereas in modern warfare i think you have to pay for it correct me if i'm wrong because i rarely play modern warfare but yeah they would effectively be competing with modern warfare which brings me to my next point of who brings out more content so if any of you have ever seen my coverage of insurgency sandstorm and their updates then you would know that their updates on the game have either been lackluster or non-existent which could honestly be iceberg ahead but i really can't say for sure you know i always kind of wondered what was taking them so long to drop significant updates for the game i initially thought that oh well they're working on the console version of the game so of course they're devoting their time to that because you know that market is going to be big for them but research will tell you that they actually handed that project off to another studio because the team wasn't that familiar with porting things to an inferior platform <laughs> so whoa, 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 wait a minute if they weren't working on the console then what the hell were they doing well research and community members actually tells us that in previous updates they had told us that they were going to stop production so that they can focus on optimization so if you were wondering why this game has received very little updates it's mostly because of that they've just been working on optimization which begs the question why didn't they delay the game but i've talked about that in several videos at this point i really don't feel like going through it again because what's done is done by this point they've made their bed and they gotta lay in it but yeah a big issue that they have is just releasing updates and if you compare the amount of updates that modern warfare releases to insurgency sandstorm the difference is night and day i mean sandstorm has released like what maybe like seven guns of which some of them feel the same to the ones that are already out and they released three or four maps two of which were like remakes of the originals and various cosmetics i mean i'm guessing that the next couple of updates are just going to be game modes that were in the previous game which i feel like they should have been out for the game already but you know that's just where we're at so yeah i think the initial launch of the game will certainly do well because it really doesn't have too much competition in what they do but i worry 
about the longevity of the game because for the longest time they were either having non-existent content or very lackluster content and even content that strays away from what you know made the game unique so i'm hoping that by the time the console launches they'll be on track but we'll have to see and that's all i really got to say about that let's go ahead and talk about what's in this next update that's coming out so for someone that didn't watch the previous video then they're going to be adding one map and two new guns the name of the map is power plant it's a very luscious green map with a lot of vegetation and the two guns are the tavar 7 and ace 52 if you want to know my thoughts on the guns then you could just press the i icon that's at the top right and it should take you to the previous video it'll tell you my thoughts on those but yeah let's get into the rest of this here and see what update 1.6 has to offer so here they talk about new cosmetics this is what it shows for security and this is what it shows for the insurgents and i gotta say i really like the leather jacket i'm not a fan of the face mask though i, I really don't like that i mean what's the point of wearing the face mask if it's not going to do anything because it's freaking cosmetic but yeah i think i like the leather jacket and the hat with the contacts that's about it but yeah moving on the next one says they are adding domination modes to every other map which i feel should have been a thing you know a while ago i really don't understand why they didn't you know add it to every map in the beginning like they only added it to like a selective few and the funny thing about that update is that they decided to add it to the ones that weren't optimized like they specifically said in the update we optimized these maps but we added domination to all these other maps that weren't optimized <laughs> it's like what the how are you gonna add a new game mode and then you put it on the maps that are freaking not optimized like what? But I mean, I guess it's better late than never? Question mark? All right, moving on. They have apparently made some fire support changes for the insurgents. It says here, effective area denial leads to different strategies. So for smoke mortars, they increase the duration that the smoke cloud stays after exploding. Now, to be honest, I have no idea. I almost rarely used the uh, barrages, so I don't know how effective or unaffected these things were. But uh, the next one says, rocket barrage, they reworked to five separate volleys of rockets over a longer period of time for a better area of denial rather than just blowing its load all at once actually yeah that might that might be more helpful for a lot of players who are trying to keep people out of the uh the area but i don't know it's so easy to die in the game especially by mortars so i don't know how uh annoying or effective or that's gonna be i don't know the next one is chemical mortars they increase the duration of time chemical clouds stay after exploding yeah that's the one thing that i noticed that the chemical stuff almost never like it fits out by the time he got there well that's interesting the last one is explosive mortars they increase the amount of shells fired in a strike by 50 percent okay cool so i don't know if this is a good or bad change i'd imagine it'd be really annoying but we we'll, we'll have to see on that one i don't know let's move on to the next thing here here is the biggest thing that comes with this update the level editor or mod tools as most people call it where they will be rolling out mod tools to the public this will include a full unreal engine editor that they use to create their own levels the editor has built-in tools for uploading your mods and updating it so that's pretty cool that's definitely what a lot of people have been asking for for the longest time at this point i'm just not sure if uh from what i understand this is only level editing what i hope this also does is um make it so that you could actually see things like client side because i always like to like put some goofy stuff in the game as i'm playing but yeah, that's pretty cool mods and guides will be available through mod.io which will become the modding hub for the game oh cool mod io is fully integrated into the game and allows community servers to host modded content and players connected to their servers will automatically be able to download the mods the server is running cool 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 and it shows off some uh, pictures of uh new maps that were created by the community i'm assuming let's visit this little hub they have here example content what is this interesting oh wait can i download this hmm. oh i could download these maps right now and play them interesting cool this is definitely something that i'm going to be looking into in the next video or so but um yeah the last thing that i want to talk about with this update is just general improvements apparently they improved the spectator camera updated competitive map rotation oh good because that was because i've noticed that a lot of people are quite literally just picking the same damn map improved gamepad support ew console players ew bug fixes and performance issues and much more and then this goes a little more in depth which if you want to uh read the whole thing here then i'll just put a link down to the description but there is quite a bit of improvements it looks like and general quality of life improvements so yeah mods is the big thing here but i think it's only the level which is, is pretty cool pretty cool i think that it's definitely a step in the right direction because the game seriously needs more content and if the community
community is able to just get in there and make their own content then i think a lot of people are going to be happy towards the game mods once again are going to save this game so yeah that was the update what are your thoughts are you someone that's going to try out the mod level editor i am horrible at anything modding related so uh we'll see how that goes but i'm certainly going to try it yeah but that marks the end of this video if you're someone that likes the fact that i cover games like insurgency sandstorm and other tactical games why don't you go ahead and like the video comment down below share it if you're someone that's new be sure to subscribe and ding the bell if you're someone that wants to support the channel check out my patreon now with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye